the Armenian community around the world has been going through um, generations of denial um, of crimes against humanity, against our people, and it starts from as early as 1915. And um, during that time, the Ottoman Empire essentially sent their own soldiers to kill and wipe out all of our Armenian people. Um, and you have to understand geographically, we are located in an area that's predominantly either was, was part of either the Soviet Union on one side, and then we're surrounded by Muslim countries all around us, and we're a Christian country. So having that kind of... Um, I guess you want to call it bullying all, all of most right. of our existence. You Not know? surrounded by allies. And absolutely. And so when this mission was um, carried out, 1.5 million Armenians died. They first attacked men, men in high positions, um, government, political people, religious, and anyone who was a doctor, anyone who had any sort of education, they were eliminated first, and then they turned to the women and children. Women and children were raped and tortured, and then they were sent into the desert to die. There's so much evidence documenting these events. Pictures of soldiers holding decapitated heads of the people that they killed like trophies. Pictures of bones of people were recovered years later and are now found in a museum in Armenia dedicated to the genocide. But during that time, these monstrosities were being reported. They were being reported in news, whether it was in England, whether it was in France, whether it was in America, in Australia. These, these killings were being reported and nobody was doing anything about it. And... Our people had to flee. Whoever survived, they had to flee to the surrounding areas, some of which had to let go of their identity completely because they found themselves in Turkey, which was at the time they're basically going into the arms of the enemy and had to pretend that they were Turkish so that they wouldn't get killed. They let go of their faith in public but they secretly kept their faith and their culture, but they essentially had to hide while they were living just so that they could survive. And moving forward, the history of our country, we've just never had a chance to breathe, even since then. We fell under the Soviet rule because they were literally our only allies and were the only country that could protect us. But unfortunately, that created so much other difficulty in our in our country. Like we've just we only barely found our independence, but like twenty something years ago, and we've had to continuously go through these situations where we are being attacked by these surrounding countries, and defending our land. And after the genocide, most of our land was taken away. If you look at geographically maps of what our, the Armenian Empire used to be and what it is now, we have probably like <laughs> one twentieth of the land left. And one of them being an icon for our country is um, the mountain Ararat which is now currently found in Turkish borders. But Ararat is a symbol of our country, and it's a symbol that dates back even to biblical times of Christianity. And it, it, the fact that we can't... You can see Ararat from everywhere in Armenia. When you, if you, when you go to Armenia, and you could be anywhere in that country, and you can see the mountain from afar... And, and we look at it with such sadness knowing that we can never be reunited with it. It doesn't belong to us anymore. Right. And if you go back to looking at Armenian art or books or 
our ancient history, everything. It's, it's literally like the symbol of our country, and yet it's not even in our borders. So currently the situation is there's so much hostility coming from Azerbaijan, and they're fighting over land that was given back to us that they claim is theirs. And it's just literally a battle of land. But unfortunately, it kind of goes deeper than that because they're attacking us all over the world. This week alone, we lost young soldiers who are but 18, 19 years old, who have never held a gun in their life, who don't know what they're doing. And uh, they're dying because Armenia is a poor country. We don't have the financial resources to defend ourselves. And countries like America, they don't fund our military like they do with Azerbaijan. Right. They don't. We are an already poor country trying to defend what we can. And when you, when you think about the real reasons behind it, it's just to conquer. And it's like at this day and age when we're living in this modern time where these things really shouldn't be acceptable whatsoever, how is it possible that mainstream media is not even educating people about what's going on? How is it that people are literally being slaughtered and just because it's not on our shores doesn't mean that it doesn't matter? You know, it just makes yeah. you question, like, what's worthy of, what's newsworthy, right. you know?